His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and offered his condolences on the demise of the Prime Minister's advisor for industrial and oil affairs, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister recalled the accomplishments of the late Sheikh Isa and his contributions to the development of Bahrain's economy and industry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble sentiments on the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Ali, wishing His Majesty the King further success to continue the process of development and prosperity in the Kingdom. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today, in which the Council approved the draft response to His Majesty the King's speech at the opening of the second session of the fourth legislative term. The Council also approved letters from the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, regarding an agreement and a draft law between Bahrain and Tajikistan. The Council approved a report by the Committee for Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security on restricting the use of certain conventional weapons that could be considered excessively dangerous. The meeting also agreed to join the 1963 so-called Tokyo Convention on offences and certain other acts committed on board aircraft. They also approved a report from the Services Committee on providing protection against autoimmunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Health Council, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Al Rashid Group organized the annual Beat Diabetes Walk. The event aims to spread awareness of the disease, which is widely prevalent in Bahrain and the GCC. More details in this report with Mohammed Al Shaban. Over 3,000 people showed up at the Beat Diabetes Walkathon at Dohat Arad in Muharraq on Saturday evening. The event is held in Bahrain for the seventh time, and it marks the World Diabetes Awareness Day, which is celebrated on the 14th of November of every year. I think it's a great way for the community to get together. Uh, it's for a fantastic cause. Um, people need to be aware of the signs and symptoms. Uh, a small, tiny island nation of Bahrain, we're in the top 10 for diabetes. Uh, we have a problem with obesity uh, within the GCC itself and diabetes and obesity are very much linked. So it's a good, it's a great cause and people can come and get their blood sugars tested, uh, play educational games and, and walk for charity.
The event involved a three-kilometer walk along with a number of health and family-oriented activities. Different local and global medical and fitness companies were present with the aim of increasing awareness of the disease and the importance of observing a healthy lifestyle. Uh, we are uh, part of uh, the event by giving awareness booklets and doing a free medical checkup, for example, uh, blood, sugar, uh, blood sugar tests for the uh, public. Plus, we also give kind of advice. We have some doctors who give uh, advices. Exercise is very important to be diabetes. And this walk takes place once a year. We hope people walk more often. In our office, we have a, you know, every Monday walk kind of program. People go walk. So it's very important that you come and exercise. The uh, whole purpose of this event is to understand that by exercising, you can control and, and take care of uh, diabetes. An estimated 387 million people live with diabetes, and by 2035, the number is expected to rise to 592 million. The six GCC countries are among the top 15 nations in the world with the highest prevalence of the disease. Bahrainis and expats alike of different age groups and professional backgrounds convened here today in support of diabetics everywhere, spreading the message of awareness and health. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,221.26 points, a decrease of 12.66 points below last week's closing level. Losses were split across the commercial banks, investment, services and industrial sectors. The latter was the most traded in sector, representing 42.35% of total share value traded. In total, there were 39 transactions completed today, composed of 1,117,013 shares, worth 270,716 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received an invitation from the International Mixed Martial Art Federation, Kret Brown, for Bahrain to participate in the first ever European Open MMA Championship for Amateur will be held in Birmingham from November 19th till the 22nd. The event has been organized by IMAF in cooperation with UK Martial Art Federation. Sheikh Khalid directed the Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Art Team, KHK MMA Amateur Team, to participate in this championship. He said that Bahrain's attendance will highlight Bahrain's significant position on the world sport. Last night, Bahrain played host to the very first GCC food photography competition, attracting epicures and photographers from around the region and beyond. Daniel Deporto brings us this report. The inaugural GCC food photography competition attracted a total of 412 submissions from all six GCC states, vying for the title in categories such as food from the farm, food portraits and market scenes. Promoting healthy eating was a core concept of the event, organised through the website photoawardme.com. Well, the inspiration is to have uh, everyone, you know, focus towards healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle. And uh, it is purely born out of that drive. Uh, but we needed to do something creative with it because we all come from a creative background. I'm a food blogger, I do food styling. We have George and Tanuj who are my partners in this initiative. They themselves are food photographers and they're very popular in this region. So we thought we'd come together and do something that would, you know, shift the focus from, uh, you know, those let's not say bad kind of food, but let's say we are trying to promote good food and celebrate it through our awards. In attendance was guest of honour Andrew Harris, who attended the ceremony from the UK on behalf of celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. The Jamie brand was among the key sponsors of the event and it is expected that this partnership, driven by a common interest in healthful food, will continue next year following the success of this inaugural edition and given Bahrain's rich culinary scene.
I mean, I've been here literally less than 24 hours, so I started off 7 a.m. at the fish market, uh, sloshing around in the, in the water, looking at the great produce that's coming off the, the gulf. Um, then I went um, sniffing around in the spice souk, bought myself various Bahraini spices um, or regional spices, so when I get home I'll be uh, cooking the art forms of cuisine and photography have combined for the inaugural GCC Food Photography Awards here at the Sheraton Hotel in Bahrain with international acclaim. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.